Hi and welcome. My name is Kelechi and I'm going to be your instructor in this short course to solve the Codility De Developer Training Lesson 1 on iterations using c -sharp programming language. In this short course, you will get a brief overview of the Codility platform and my solution in solving the binary gap task in the Lesson 1 using c -sharp programming language. If you've never heard about c -sharp before, c -sharp is a powerful and versatile language. So if you're looking to take a, development, a developer test for any remote job, solving the Codility lessons would be a great help. However, this lecture is not a beginner's course. Some experience using c -sharp is required. However, we would soon be releasing our full c -sharp course, which will take you from beginner to expert levels so once again my name is kelechi i am a software developer with over a decade of experience developing and teaching software development let me know in the comment section how this course has helped you or if you have any questions and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel without wasting any more of your time let's get right into it welcome back by the end of this chapter we would have successfully learned about the codility platform who they are and what they have to offer to programmers like you and i to develop our careers so see you in the next section hi and welcome back so in this section let us first go over to the Codility website at Codility.com to begin. So who are Codility? Well, according to their website, Codility is an online coding test and programming platform. It is used by teams to test the coding skills of developers and make evidence-based hiring decisions. If you're looking to practice for a developer test or interview, Codility offers great resources to practice with and develop your skills. In this short tutorial, we are going to solve the first task in the Codility Developers Training section using c -sharp. If you're excited about it as I am, let's get right into it. Welcome back to the course. By the end of this chapter, we would have successfully signed up and logged into the Codility platform. We would have understood the requirements of the binary gap task and we would have created our own solution for the binary gap task. If you're ready as I am, let's get right into it. Welcome back. To access the Codility platform, let us first of all visit the site at app dot codility dot com slash programmers if it's your first time click on the sign up button to register or click on the login button to sign in Next, click on Lessons to begin solving the task. We will solve Lesson 1 on iterations. I highly encourage you download and study the, written, re the reading material. It is a great help. So once you're done with that, meet me in the next session as we begin to understand the requirements of the binary gap task. Welcome back. In this section of the course, we are going to understand the requirements of the binary gap task. So, first, I encourage you to switch your programming language to C sharp. And now let's see what this problem is saying. A binary gap with a positive integer n is 
any minute maximal sequence of consecutive zeros that is surrounded by ones at both ends in the binary representation of n. For example, number 9 has binary expression 1001 and contains a binary gap of 2, which is these two zeros between the two ones. The number 529 has a binary representation of 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 and contains two binary gaps, one length of 4 and one length of 3. The number 20 has a binary representation of 1 0 1 0 0 and contains one binary gap of length 1. The number 15 has binary representation of 1 1 1 1 and has no binary gaps. The number 32 has a binary representation of 1 and 0 in 5 places and it has no binary gaps. So we are required to write a function in a class called solution that given a positive integer n returns the length of its longest binary gap. The function should return 0 if n doesn't contain any binary gap. For example, given n is equals to 1041, the binary gap should return 5 because n has a binary representation of 1, 5 zeros, 1, 3 zeros, 1. So its longest binary gap is the length 5. Given n equals 32, the function should return 0 because n has a binary representation of 1 and 5 zeros and thus has no binary gaps. So we should write an efficient algorithm for the following assumptions n is an integer within the range of 1 to 2 billion yada 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 so in a nutshell what this program is asking us to develop is to count the number of zeros that occur between two ones when you convert a number to a binary to its binary form like the example that was given earlier number nine converted to its binary form is one zero zero one we are meant to calculate the count the two zeros between ones if there is no one at the end of the zero it is not considered a binary gap there must be a one at the beginning and a one at the end of the sequence of zeros so i hope that's clear for an explanation so that is what we are going to try and solve in this short course in the next section we'll go about building out, out our, solu our solution using visual studio for mac as our id of choice so if you're ready meet me in the next section where we create out our solution hi and welcome back in this section we are going to begin creating our solution for the binary gap task First, let's launch our ID. As mentioned before, I'll be using Visual to Studio 2019 for Mac as my ID of choice. If you're on a Windows or on a PC, you can go ahead and use Visual Studio, whatever version, or any other ID that compiles C Sharp would be just fine. We are going to create our console application and we're going to call it Binary Gap. Once we are done with that, we hit create and our console application is created. The first thing we are going to do is create the classes to run our code. In this case, it's called the solution class. So we'll copy it off the Codility website and paste it into our code. Do some slight refactoring to make sure that the method receives and returns parameters properly. So, in our solution method, we are going to define three variables. The first variable is going to be int value, and its purpose is to hold the value of each binary gap. Next, we create a, res a results variable, which is a list of integers. This would hold the count value of each binary gap encountered. Make sure you do all your imports to make sure that your code flows without errors. 
The third variable we're going to create is the binary variable and its purpose is to convert the int parameter which is passed into our solutions method to its binary equivalent. We're going to use the built-in convert method, convert to string method, which c -sharp provides us, which automatically converts an integer to its binary format. Next, we're going to use a for each loop to loop through each character array in a binary variable. So we're going to say for each C in our binary collection, As we loop through the very binary variable, if we encounter a zero, what we want to do is to increment our int value, our int value variable. But if we encounter a one, we add the current value in our int variable, in our int value variable to our results list, and res and reset the int value variable to zero. So this first if statement is going to check. If we encounter a zero, if we don't encounter a zero, it definitely means that we're going to encounter a one. So if we encounter a zero, we increment our int variable by one. Else, if we encounter a one, we add whatever value we have in our int variable to our results list. And we then reset our int value variable back to zero. When we are done and we exit our for each loop, we simply want to return the maximum value in our results array. And we do this by using the link function max. Make sure you import all your classes so that your code runs without issues. So yes, that's our solution. Let's um, modify our main class so that we can run and test it with the test conditions given on the Codility website. So we create our instance of the solutions class, which we defined earlier. And then we log some outputs to the console. So, in the solution method, let's pass in the variable 1041, which was gotten from the Codility website, and let's see the outcome we have. Wow, we have the number five, which is the longest binary gap and is the same as it's the same as the value given on the Codility website. So our code seems to work. Let's copy it and run it in the Codility test platform. So we go back to the Codility website and we hit start. Give it a second to come up and we click on start the test so if this is the first time you can take a tour round but i'm just going to skip it from now and get straight to our solution the first thing you want to do is to change your programming language which is c sharp in our case and then we confirm if you want to read through the problem again you can do this on this panel on the left but we're just going to go straight into it and paste our code, which was our solution in our IDE. Remember, you also need to copy all your inputs and namespaces so that the code can also run properly in the Codility platform. I'm going to do that right now. So when you're done with that, you can take a look at your code and hit run code. 
to see if you pass all the initial test conditions and yes we pass all initial test conditions once you're satisfied with that you can submit your task and then you wait for a few minutes to see your performance Wow, congratulations, you had a tax score of 100 and correctness of 100%. Good job. So you can see the full breakdown of your test score and your total score and everything that pertains to the test. So you can see our solution is running 100% on all parameters. We passed all text examples and all correctness, correctness tests were also passed. So well done on that. See you in the next section. Wow, you made it to the end. Thank you so much for watching to the end. We really hope this course has helped you. The source code for the task can be found in the description below. And if you're still having any challenge, please let us know in the comments below. Or if you have a better way to solve it, let us know we are open to learn and to see things from your point of view. Remember, we will be releasing a full c -sharp course from beginners to mastery in the coming weeks. And we have a ton of great materials and courses lined up to take you to the next level of your programming journey. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, take care.